there are over one million political prisoners worldwide. In dictatorships like Russia, Iran or China, everyone who speaks out against the regime or simply voices a different opinion is at risk of being imprisoned. While dictators want them to disappear and want the world to forget about them, our new global campaign Address Freedom is set out to counter this and to do three things. First, to advocate for them in Parliament. Second, to support them and their families directly. And third, to give them the public visibility they need and deserve. For this, we have set up petitions to rename the streets in front of embassies of these regimes in Berlin after political prisoners. We're here today to support the Address Freedom campaign run by the Axel Springer Freedom Foundation. And we're asking for the street outside the Chinese embassy to be renamed in honor of Jimmy Lai. Straßen nach politischen Dissidentinnen und Dissidenten zu benennen. Das wäre wahrscheinlich ein wirklicher Stachel im Fleisch von autoritären Regimen, wenn in unmittelbarer Nachbarschaft zu ihren Botschaften, zu ihren diplomatischen Vertretungen diese Namen hier prangen würden. I just want my husband and the father of my three children to be back home with us. I am proud of him and I admire his courage for fighting for a free Russia. And I believe that um, his name, as well as the names of hundreds of Russian citizens who have spoken out publicly against the war and against Putin's regime, they deserve to be known. Vladimir Karamursa schrieb mir in einem seiner Briefe aus dem Gefängnis, es gibt nichts Schlimmeres für einen politischen Häftling, wenn er vergessen wird. Äh, deshalb müssen wir äh, denen Mut zusprechen, äh, immer ein Signal geben, selbst wenn es nur ein Brief oder eine Karte ist äh, oder eine E-Mail, die durch den Anwalt äh, den politischen Häftling erreicht. I'm standing here in front of the Russian Embassy in Berlin with a, with a sign about Vladimir Karamursa. I'm sure that Putin and his cronies are not happy that I'm here drawing attention to Vladimir. Vladimir has been sentenced to 25 years in prison. They wanted to take him out of circulation so that he couldn't protest the war, he couldn't call for sanctions, and he couldn't call for the illegitimacy of the Putin regime. We don't have any contact with Maria for 350 days. It means there are no calls, no letters, no visits of relatives or a lawyer. At the moment we don't even know whether Maria is, is alive. Wir wollen, dass in Botschaftsnähe die Straßen umbenannt werden nach Inhaftierten. Menschen, die für Frieden und Freiheit, für demokratische Repräsentanz in ihren Ländern stehen und dafür im Gefängnis büßen müssen. Und des Weiteren sendet das das Signal an die Regime, die, die kriminellen Regime, die die Menschen verbrecherischerweise ins Gefängnis werfen. Wir sehen euch, wir vergessen das nicht und wir werden Druck auf euch ausüben. Please join us. Check out addressfreedom.com and sign the first petitions.